Welcome back, everybody. Right now, blood donations are down, but they remain crucial in helping hospital patients. News Channel 3's Patrick Evans takes a look at how you can help the Lifestream Blood Bank. I am joined now by Dr. Rick Axelrod, who is the CEO of Lifestream. Uh, thank you very much for being with me today. Thank you for having me. Uh, obviously, the need for blood is higher now than ever. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about, I know that you've increased uh, donation locations and drives that are going on, but let's talk particularly about the challenges that Livestream is facing during this COVID crisis. Sure, so one of the big things that's happened to us is many of our mobile drives have canceled because, because schools are out of, out of session, both high schools and colleges, which are major places where we used to collect a lot of blood we've really had to focus on our two donor centers in the Coachella Valley to get donors to come in to make up for the shortfall of all the mobile blood drives that have been canceled. Now, for people who want to donate blood, you guys have gone to extraordinary lengths to make sure that the, the donation process is safe and they don't have to worry about uh, COVID-19 and contracting that while they're actually making a donation. Yes, so we want that process to be safe for the blood donor and for our employees as well. So first things first, everybody has to wear a mask. So whether it's our employee or the blood donor, they have to wear a mask through the entire process. When, you, when the donor presents to the front door of the donor center or even a blood drive, the first thing we do is take their temperature. And if your temperature is below 99.5, you're able to step in and participate as part of the blood donation process. If it's over that, you're deferred and have to come back at a later time. So right away, we're doing that initial screening that anybody who might have a fever, even though they didn't know it, cannot go in. Once you get in the door, then besides everybody wearing masks, we have social distancing. Everything is six foot apart. So when you're in the waiting area, six foot apart. When you're donating blood, six foot apart. So we're making sure uh, all the social distancing is followed. And then finally, after anybody donates, we clean the entire area. We're cleaning all the surfaces, we're cleaning all the beds, everything associated with that donor is clean so that when the next donor comes, everything will be sterile and ready for them as well. How are the number of donations holding up? I know that everybody has to make an appointment in order to uh, be a donor right now. Yeah, well, they're, they're actually, they were strong uh, about a month ago when the Surgeon General came out and said the way you can help in the COVID crisis crisis is coming out and donating blood, but more recently they've been uh, going down. And that's a real concern for us because they're going down now at a time where the hospitals are now adding elective surgery and taking care of more patients who are using blood, which they weren't before. So we're starting to delete our inventory, deplete, deplete our inventory, and we really need to replace it and make sure that it's available for the hospitals. All right, well, we're gonna post a link so the folks know exactly how they can make an appointment uh, with Livestream, whether they've donated before or this is their first time, but it's important to know that donating blood is completely safe and you've taken extraordinary measures to make sure that's true. And that is correct. Great. Uh, Dr. Axelrod, thank you so much. I know it's, it's critical uh, that folks make the donation and it's also critical that we keep your employees and the donors safe. Thank you for taking the time today. Well, thank you very much for having me.